to try to get to know the city because he might be, you know, trying to stay there even after he leaves. So I'm like, oh, okay. So he leaves. Well, when he leaves, I go in his bedroom and by to my surprise, he has his briefcase still here. So I went over and I tried to unlock it. I thought it would be locked and it wasn't. Oh my goodness. I opened up that suitcase. It was full of medicine. Full of bottles of medicine that had not been touched, but had different dates on them and different numbers on them. As though he had been going to pick up these pills, but he wasn't taking them. Like I keep telling people, he needs to take that Seroquel, okay? So after I seen that, now I'm like, oh, I'm like, it's like being in a horror movie. You know how they be going, the music going, dun, dun, dun. And so I, I, I look and I see some papers and I pick the papers up. I looked through them and I seen that it was court papers about his case, which he had lied to me and said he was unjustly locked up, remember? I'm reading this stuff and I got so alarmed. I, first thing I did was go and got the ones that was pertinent and I went and copied them on my machine and then I put them back. So when he came back, oh yeah, by the way, so let me be perfectly clear. Now we're married, right? We're still married, even though it's shaky. He also had, looked like about $2,000, which I didn't know anything about huh. in the suitcase. So I looked at it like, well, if he's going to leave, he's never offered me a dime to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I got to just take a, a three, a three of these hundreds of dollars. So I took $300. And uh, close it down. And he's still there. Never once did he go in his room. He's looking at porn all the time. And all this is going on before he leaves the first of February. What kind of porn was he looking at? If you uh, Oh, uh, listen, I don't know. I didn't look at it. I just could hear it. I just could hear him. Uh, you know, I didn't, uh, and, I, and I walked in on him. See, he was did, trying did, to did, did it sound like, uh, was it male and female porn or just male porn or? Okay. Oh, you know what? It could have been either or. or, or. <laughs> Al Quad, it could have been either or. Because I didn't see it good because by the time I got to the side of the bed and looked down, he closed it down. But I said, you're looking at porn? Listen. And this is what he said to me. This was his reply. Lady, I'm a man. I said, but you can't oh. do nothing. So why would you look at something like this? <laughs> and then I just threw my hand up and walked out the room. I just threw my hand up and walked out the corner. So was it white boy? Now, <laughs> now I'm telling him. Now I'm letting him know. Why don't you take your stirs here? And when I said that, oh my goodness, you could have knocked him over with a feather. So he already knew I knew before he left. And he should have known that the three hundred dollars was gone. But what right would he have had to say anything to me anyway? when he never gave me a dime while he was there. And that's why he's trying to push this narrative that I threw him out the 1st of February in the cold in the snow. But he told Yanga over there on uh, Mammy Channel that he had $60,000 in his pocket worth the credit card. So why did he go looking for my estranged daughter at the time, who, by the way, we are back together, been back together since 2000, and what was that the end of 2014? Since 2014. That's good. And she's doing okay. She's she's out there. She wants to be like a Mick, Nicki Minaj or whatever, so that's her life. She's almost 30 years old now. So it's nothing I can do. That's what she wants to do, but that's still my daughter. And and I love her, and she loves her mother. It was just a period, but he, he fed off of it. So when I put him out the 1st of February, he goes to my daughter's apartment. Like he in destitute. But had he, if he didn't have no money, how could he have bought her a car? Not once, but twice. If he didn't have no money, how was he paying his half of the rent? And, and mind you, while he was there, her boyfriend was there every day. Mm. Okay. So it never was a love relationship between them. He was playing stepdad, so she played stepdaughter. You think he was trying to 
do what he does with everybody, uh, manipulate her with money to try to, uh, you know, manipulate you or others. That's what he's getting back and get some type of revenge. He was doing it out of revenge because he knew at that time she was mad at me. And why she why I was mad at her was because of the very young man that was over there with her, right? I did not want her with him. So she decided to move out so she can have her man with her. And so he found her. He was looking for my daughter. My daughter had been gone since October when he got there because she didn't even like him. So he went looking for my daughter. And when he found her, and me and her was still estranged at this time, a strain at this time, she, he, he offered her money. He bought her a car twice. The first one messed up on her, and he had to buy her another one. He bought her two cars? Two cars. And this man was bugging me uh, for a few years over $50? <laughs> listen, listen. It's all his craziness because he buys people. And when he cannot control them and make them do what he wants them to do and look at him the way he wants them to look at him, then he will turn on you because he will look at you as an enemy. He looks at me as an enemy simply because I don't want to be with him because I didn't want to be with him. And because he spent money on me and my family, which we did not ask him for. Come on, boy, stop. Grow up and stop crying. But see, now, see, because he took my. Now, listen, I want to bring this timeline, too. He didn't leave to February. I did not take him to court until June. Why? Because I was trying to give him the chance. And I was hoping he would have enough sense to bring me back my son's ashes. The, the, key, the keys didn't matter anymore because I took that $300. See, I, I looked at it as a sign from God to take the $300. Because it was that same $300 I didn't have to go in my bank to get. I used that three hundred dollars to get me another set of car keys, man. So I feel like fair exchange wasn't no robbery. He wouldn't bring me my keys, so I had to get some keys. Okay, so he goes. So, uh, but hold uh, on, a lot, a lot of people here aren't familiar with this guy. So you, you're trying to say that this creep took your son's ashes? He took Angel Snuffin' Up Seven took my son's ashes. The so-called reality temple on Earth. Internet Ministry, uh, what's what's his other name? Uh, Soul Power Information Center, Angel Snuff Nup 7, Talik Ibn Ra. His real name, government name, is Lauren L. Ray. You and, said that's of Haitian uh, totally origins, right? Of uh, Haitian origin, right. And he this is, is, a, he so is, is like a narcissist. So this guy's been talking Sorry, about Caribbeans for a while, and, and he's one himself, huh? He is. He always has. Right. My God, I mean, I don't know what to say. He is not even one of us, exactly. And so he is, he is criminally insane. He, he could, he would, if he was not so sick mentally, he probably could have been a genius, probably. But his genius now is evil and is dangerous because what he is doing by slandering people and lying on people is causing, you know, it, he's putting himself in harm's way. But for me, as as mad as I am, I would never waste my time to do anything to him because he's not worth it. But what I'm doing is I'm going to give time and let time take his course because he got booty cancer and he's dying. And huh. so it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. And like me and Sister Noble said, she'll be on here soon. Uh, when, when we hear he dead, if he does not get cremated and, and, and his family put him in some mason jars or some Crisco can, uh, cans somewhere, <laughs> if he don't get cremated, we're going to find where he's buried at and we're going to go and dance on his grave and we're going to spit on his grave because he is a monster. Why would you, many men like God and Hollywood told him one day, many men have been hurt or disappointed or been in relationships where they did a lot for a woman and broke up, but it didn't cause them to go on a smear campaign against them simply because of that, you know? Right, right. After you said what you had to say, let's say you did it for a few months. After you did it, it should be out of your system. 
But this guy has nonstop, round the clock heat going on. For eight years. For eight years. Since 2014. And, and mind you, the timeline. He left in February. I did not take him to court to June when I seen he was not going to bring me my son's ashes back. And mind you, my son's ashes are in a marble urn. Beautiful green and black with gold. And his name plate was on top of it. And I love my son. And my son was killed back in 2005. I had my son with me all the time. Mm. And so he, for him to do that was treachery. It was di diabolical. It was evil just to try to get back at me. Because he knew how much I loved my son. I talk That's what he does. Family. He takes advantage of what people love and, and other people's weaknesses and yes. he tries to use that to his advantage. Yes. So I never did anything to him. And, and, and really, I was kind when he showed up at my door that night. I could have said, I could have said no, because I do have that type of attitude because I'm very, uh, what you would say, uh, security minded. However, he was no, he didn't look like a threat. He looked like a little lost puppy for real. And so with that, I tried to be compassionate. And after he cleaned himself up and we took him to the mall and bought him some clothes, he didn't look half bad. Cause there is another video where he's sitting on my couch making a video. I think God has it um, where he's, he looked okay. Because I tried my best to make sure he was looking okay. Because you, you can't be around me and my family looking like a bum. You know? So, um, you Too bad know, you didn't buy him a whole bunch of shirts. You know, that could Listen, I me. did. That's why. Uh, but you know what? That was in 2013 and 14. He probably don't have those shirts. And look, I bought him polo. And what else did we buy him? Um, Ralph Lauren. And we bought him Gap. You know, we bought him all the... The notable okay. men clothes. Stylish you know stuff. I don't mean? know why he's wearing right. nice, stuff, you know? nice leather jacket, hats, gloves, pants, Tim. He had never had a pair of Timberlands. Never. Huh. So we, we made sure he bought him some Timberlands. He thought he was the thing of thing, I'm telling you. He really did. <laughs> <laughs> and he Still missed that. I know that he way. missed it. I know he missed the family atmosphere he had around me and my big family. I know he does, because he never had that. His family don't deal with him, even to this day. So I, I, I thank you all. You know, I, I like I hear, like I'm saying, I'm not you here to try to make sense out of this crazy, insane nut. I'm not, because I told people back in 2014 that he was insane. I have no reason to lie, whatsoever. Right. It was a shock to me, just like it might be to some of you. But the fact remains. He is insane. And now he's going around asking any channel who he can get to bite with money. He's offering these people money. Me and Noble have gotten the emails from people that he is offering people money for them to let him come on his channel to talk about me and Sister Noble. Is that not insanity? I don't know what he is. It is. So with that, I'm going to put you in the back and we're going to bring on his other victim or his late bra. I don't well, know if she's... going in the back. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm going to bring you back after she... You know, I, want, I want to hear the story okay. separately. All right. And so people thank can hear everything clearly. So I'm yes, going to put you in the back. I thank you. And, uh, you know, again, once again, it's a sad thing, but uh, it unfortunately is. it doesn't end and it hasn't uh, come to an end. So I'll bring you Are back on. Are there any on. more questions? Are there any more questions? If there are, I will do my best to answer them. Okay. Oh, it'll probably, there'll probably be questions like when I bring you okay. two together. All right. All right yes, so, sir. Right, so I, then I, I, I'm waiting for your call. Thank you. Uh, all right. So stay in the back. Yes, right, sir. Thank you. All right. So now uh, you just heard from Aaliyah Muhammad. You heard all of the wild things that this individual has done to this woman. And I'm sure there was a whole lot more that is too numerous to go into. But the manipulation, the torture, all from one man. And I'm sure many of you have seen our next guest and her latest round. And the only word I can use to describe what's been going on 